the opportunity to fight fans, what does that mean for uh, Calvert? What have you been doing Calvert? Um, this fight uh, is very nice fight. Bigfoot is is very um, a fighter. I everybody the this fighter. Sorry, my English. Uh, everybody the fighter in the world. They have the opportunity. Uh, maybe my it's my turn now. My turn for a fight for Feather. I have a big uh, respect for Feather. He's the best in the world. But uh, give my Give my um, opportunity my for me, please, Scott. And, and lost. And lost. Okay. Well, you say, what is it that, that you think makes Fedor so good? Why is he so good? Everything. He stand up in the ground. Fedor uh, heavy so much knockouts, <clears throat> heavy submission in in the state in Japan. In your everything he fights. Uh, it's the best in the world, but. Uh, I, one more opportunity for me, I'm happy. I next, uh, I maybe one week no training now, but after one week I hard training for I wait this opportunity for uh, my life. Scott, I just wonder if you can comment. Um, obviously, it was a great main event, uh, back and forth, and people really got their money's worth. You know, it takes two people, I guess. You, know, you wanted Fedor to look good, but if the other guy didn't fight well, then, you know, he didn't. Do you think this will give him the extra pop because Brett came to fight and actually performed very well, too? Absolutely. I mean, you know, Fedor is a fighter that I followed for many years, and, uh, you know, he's fought the best fighters in the world, hands down. And, um, you know, Brett, I think he probably surprised a lot of you guys. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, he was a, a, an underdog in this fight. And he came out, and it, and I think he, um, you know, he brought it to Fedor in, that, in, in those couple of exchanges. I think the weight was, was an issue, but uh, you know, Fedor is Fedor, and that's, uh, you know, he does what he does. So, but as far as Brett, I mean, you know, that was an amazing fight. He had great heart, and we're very proud of Brett, and we look forward to putting him in, back into the cage soon. I mean, that's you know, that's something that uh, you know we'll have to circle back with M1. You know, the fight just ended, and uh, you know we had talked about earlier about uh, the winner fighting each other, and that's definitely is something we, we should talk about soon. But yeah, so every you know, all the options are going to be open at this point, and but I think that fight uh, does make a lot of sense. But you know, we'll have to wait another couple of days, and obviously, I'm sure that they'll have to sit down and talk to Fedor, and and we'll take it from there. But you know, we, we would definitely like to do it, and I think uh, you know, Fabrizio is a is a great fighter, and and it would be a great matchup. Uh, not right now. Okay, and I'm Fabrizio. Yeah, you asked for your shot. What exactly is your shot? What do you want? Hey, sorry. <laughs> I speak my coach. You asked for your shot. You had said a couple of days ago that you wanted to fight the winner of Fedor um, and uh, Rob Rogers. Do you want to fight the winner of Fedor and Brett Rogers? So you just asked for your shot now. Is, is that shot against Milenko, or do you want to wait for Alex Obrey? Não, eu queria lutar com certeza com o Fedor, eu quero ter uma oportunidade. É, já lutei uma vez com o Overine, faz três anos atrás eu ganhei do Overine com a Kimura. Então acho que já passou a, a vez de ter lutado com o Overine, eu acho que tem que ser diretamente com o Fedor. I fought one time, sorry, I fought one time with Alistair in Japan. I think now is my opportunity to fight against Fedor. I believe in more. I believe in my techniques, and uh, if I put him in the ground, I can submit him. This is uh, my opportunity. I'll start his very tough fight, but well, my goal division. now is fair. Uh, but as far as Alistair's popularity, you know, he's very much, uh, you know, been fighting overseas, and maybe not as popular in America. But I believe a couple fights on TV with Alistair, uh, I think uh, his style of fighting is is very impressive, and and uh, he will become a star in America as well. Ima says, one belt, one king, undisputed world champion. Mm -hmm. Obviously now there's two champions, Brock and Fedor. In terms of a timeline, how far do you see actual unification? I think you have to ask them that question, right? Okay, so you're amenable so, to bring your champion. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, if, if, if Brock Lesnar you know, if they wanted to, you know, put the fight together, I'm sure we could put the fight together. So Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. I, mean, that's all, I think that's always been, you know, the, the Yost has always said that. That I let him comment on it, but you know, they, they, I think they invited that fight. Right? Well, I'm saying nothing new when I say that uh, you know we're always in for that. Uh, we've always exclaimed that as, as M1 Global that we'll, you know, we'll, we'll promote with any.
anybody, and uh, all our our sole objective is just to put on the best fight. And if that fight has to be with somebody from the UFC, we're, we're good. Thank you. Scott, tonight, you know, America and globally saw the two great heavyweights in that fight. Just cutting to the chase, Scott, I mean, you're a matchmaker, you put this together. I think that people could see this happen again between these two guys. Would you consider these two guys? Yeah, and I think that, um, you know, a couple of fights down the line, see how everybody goes. And, you know, we're going to put Brett back in as soon as he wants to get back in. And, uh, you know, Fedor has a couple big fights ahead of him. But, you know, in the, in the fight business, you never know. So would that be a great rematch in the future? I, I think it would be. But, you know, I, I think that both people have to uh, see what happens in the next, you know, six months, eight months, a year, and uh, can reevaluate where he's at. Yeah, you know what, this, that's something that we can talk about next week. But, um, you know, I think today is really about this fantastic fight, this fantastic event on CBS. And, uh, you know, but you will have an announcement in about seven days. Scott, I'm sorry if someone else already asked this. I came a little late. But um, after watching the two heavyweight fights, who's the next one? Who do you think is more deserving of the heavyweight title shot against I think that, you know, that question is something that, you know, I will have to sit down with uh, M1 and have a conversation and, um, you know, see which direction we collectively feel is best for the next fight. And we'll definitely circle back with CBS and uh, see uh, maybe the different options that uh, we can present and which we feel would make for the best television.